So what's going on, Call of Duty refugees? We gotta talk about this one immediately, okay? Like, what the hell is going on in the Call of Duty community, right? Like, homies are peacing out right now, but apparently we got some good news for Call of Duty. I don't know how does that work. We we recently, oh my, my bad, that's the BBC online, but we recently had the homie blame truth, right? Nowhere to be found. He peaced out with his health, but shout out to the homie Mr. T likes fire. I gotta show you this video. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for it. Three Three likes on the video for this one because you know 3,000 devs but four years of development let's see what's going on roll it Treyarch has officially responded to the black ops 6 zombies hate on their call of duty podcast and has announced a multitude of changes coming towards the launch for black ops 6 zombies and the first one being that liberty falls is getting an absolute massive change with its ambience as the zombies team made Massive change. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully though. Hopefully though. I want zombies to be good. I want zombies to be good. Liberty Balls. Okay. Has the zombies team made any changes to Liberty Balls since we first saw it at COD Next? Okay. Let's see. Any changes to Liberty Falls since we first saw it at COD Next? Yes. Short answer. Yes. yes. Um, Next question. The Liberty Falls that everyone saw at Call of Duty Next was work in progress, right? That map was still months away at the time from launch. And so the zombies team cap lies or you think she's speaking facts right here i mean i do believe that it was work in progress but dog the game is coming on bro the game is coming up when is it coming out yeah in, in two weeks in less than two weeks it has continued to iterate on liberty falls um, liberty balls. since then and the visual tone and sort of the look and feel are now a bit moodier Cool. Mm. than what people saw in okay. the work in progress version now i you know jokes aside sarcasm aside if this is really true i like that because of course we all saw the first uh, map gameplay right the hand pick gameplay the 17 minutes gameplay of the terminus and that did look good you know people were shaking everybody oh, was going crazy oh, right the the dalek jds the raffle waffles the t lexifies and everybody was going crazy the jeb the homie jeb he was going crazy but of course the homie blame truth <laughs> He was not going crazy. He was not going crazy. And I and I get it though. Different people, different tastes, different opinions. I get it though, okay? And you guys would be like, yeah, skizzle, yeah, skizzle, yeah, right, yeah, right. But let me tell you, man, it really feels like that the spirit of Bobby Kotick still lives on. It, it, it be like that. It feels that way. But I hope this time we're wrong, okay? Usually we're always wrong, but this time I want to be wrong once again. And I hope like Zombies is actually good because the first map did look good. But when they showed and revealed the Liberty Balls, people ended up getting blue balled. Okay, and a lot of people were like, hey, cancel pre-order now. And uh, yeah, we all saw the fallout on the internet. But now what they're saying is that that was like super old build. And uh, we're not sure like how old that was. Was it like six months old, a year old? Because this game has been in development by the time it comes out, which is in two weeks. So I can say if right now, the game has been in development for four years. Four years, bro. I yeah, right. I know a lot of you guys are looking like this, and you're like, "Hey, man, damn." So why did the map look that bad? Four years into four years of development, three thousand plus devs, billions of dollars spent. So yeah, right. Like it's just a little bizarre. But wait for it. Uh, Call of Duty next. So that's very exciting. And okay. um, there are some atmospheric elements that people did not see at next because at the time we had the main quest and the easter eggs disabled for broadcast no you know? we didn't want now, uh, understandable understandable but that that's not what people are mad about like it's good that you guys did not show the easter egg yeah like you want some novelty when you get to play the map but what people are worried about is the map not looking like zombies it looks like warzone it looks like multiplayer something that the fans don't want there's something that the fans don't want, okay? When suckers wanna play Warzone, they wanna play Warzone. When suckers wanna play DMZ, they wanna play DM- Oh, my bad. Uh, I accidentally hit the, the, the sound right. effect right there, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, when suckers wanna play multiplayer, they wanna play multiplayer. And when suckers wanna play zombies, they wanna play zombies. They don't wanna play multiplayer. So people just want zombies looking and feeling like zombies simple as that and that's where the majority of the criticism was at 
from the community's perspective. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm correct in the comments. I want to know where, where you guys are. spoil it. Now, this is an amazing thing because of the fact that so many people were upset with the launch of Liberty Falls, including amazing. a lot of the diehard COD Zombies community. Yeah. And I think yeah, that yeah. really comes from the COD Next podcast showing the multiplayer map of Liberty Falls and then showing the Zombies gameplay on top of it. And it really didn't give that much of a difference. Yeah, like you're seeing the gameplay right now. I was like on the other monitor trying to search for some ga gameplay this is from the the homie mr garlic jetty my, my bad dalek jetty oh my god oh my god I'm shaking. I'm shaking i'm shaking right like even the homie dalek did not shake after that it's like you look at this map i mean bro call of duty world at war a game that came out all the way back in 2008 it's embarrassing but it's true it's not even my opinion it's like true that's why i'm bringing it up call of duty world at war came out all the way back in 2008 and had better atmosphere all the way back then versus now a game that is coming out in two, uh, 2024 i almost said 2004 the game that is coming out in 2024 with four years of development with billions and billions of dollars with microsoft right now treyarch activision without the spirit of bobby kotick yeah bobby kotick has been gone for a minute right so without the spirit of bobby kotick but seems like that the spirit still lives on it seems like that he's still there you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right? That's how it's feeling like right now. So with four years, 3,000 plus men with NASA-like computers and technology, RTX 4090s installed in their computers with the world's best CPUs with 64, maybe 128 gigabytes of DDR4, DDR5 RAM installed in their PC. What the hell is going on at HL Studios, bro? Why is the map looking like that? Now, I love the uh, love the fact that they're talking about it and they're addressing the fans. I love that doubly right there, okay? And of course, uh, jokes aside, if they are if they really mean that, that's amazing because day one when the map comes out, of course, we're going to stream. I'm I'm not buying the game. I'm going to watch like people playing, and if it looks good, I'll buy it right then and there. I'll buy the game right then and there if it looks good. But if it doesn't, i'll wait it out and of course if you guys uh, think it looks good you guys go ahead buy it uh it's your money at the end of the day right but for me like i, I was ready to buy it, though I, after seeing terminus i was uh, but but after seeing that i'm like mm, you know you, you feel what i'm saying i i have been burned so many times this is why uh, i'm having this kind of mindset right now which uh l let me know if i'm being toxic let me know if i'm not being toxic i want to know where you guys at but i hope this is true but wait for it and now it is unbelievable because they did confirm that the version of Liberty Falls that was shown on COD Next was a unfinished build. Now I kind of, uh, uh, but how old? Uh, what, like how many months old build did we see? What? Because of course it has been unfinished. Of course, objectively it has been unfinished because the game hasn't been out. So they can always say that, but how old? Like one month old. If it's one month old, then like bruh. bruh. If it's six months old, okay, they can improve upon it, right? Find it interesting. Yeah! A massive ambience change, and they have confirmed that a lot of the details of the map were not shown at COD Next because of the Easter eggs on the map. Makes me a lot more excited for the map because genuinely, I just think they shouldn't have even bothered showing it. If anything, facts, they should have facts. just kept it at the 17 minute footage reel that facts, they had for Terminus facts. that they gave out to all the zombie YouTubers. And, and, and this map could have been one of those maps. I remember the, the giant, for example, for Black Ops 3 zombies, right? Um, yeah, like for example, five for Black Ops One. It, it, it's it's like a secondary map that you get to play when the game comes out, and you have known nothing about it, so it's completely fresh. But another factor in this one is that at least people saw the ma mask coming off, and they saw how bad it looks, and uh, they they cancel pre-order. A lot of people said they cancel pre-orders. I'm not sure if they really did. Let me know if you guys pre-ordered the game and then canceled it, or if you're somebody that never pre-order and you're just gonna get it day one or maybe week later, right? Let me let me know your thought process in the chat, guys, for sure. Just left it at that. Now, another massive change that's coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies is that the HUD elements are being changed, and they actually told us to look out for some upcoming that's Call good. of that's Duty good. blogs, and this is huge, because if Huge. I were to give you probably the two Huge. biggest things that people were upset about, Treyarch absolutely nailed here being Liberty Falls that is getting a massive ambience upgrade and hope, also man. the HUD change. L listen, man, I want to see Call of Duty thrive. I want to see zombies <laughs> making a massive.
massive comeback like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 Zombies, Black Ops 2, even Black Ops 1. I definitely want to see it. I really hope the changes are as huge as that. Frelly, I want the changes being that huge, brother. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to find this one here, man. Alright, let's get back to it. A few of the HUD elements and zombies are also getting touched up, okay. um, which we'll be able to share a little bit more about as we get closer to launch. So make sure okay. you look out for the upcoming COD blogs mm. um, from the Call of Duty crew and the Zombies team to uh, learn a little bit more. And this is going to be really exciting now to compare the pre-finished build of Liberty Falls comparatively to what we are going to get at launch. And in my opinion, they don't really have to do too much. Even in my first COD Black Ops 6... They're never doing too much to begin with. <laughs> They, they're never even doing much to begin with I should say too much you say come on man like Zombies damn, video is doomed I even said that it's not necessarily a bad thing that they have their HUD simplified it's just that there is nothing that makes it unique and identifies Facts. it with Facts. zombies and honestly Facts. when you look back at a lot of the old Treyarch footage of how they recreated a lot of old maps they would take a photo <sighs> and just touch it up in a little tiny ways to make it a lot more more amplified for the zombie audience and so that is going to be exciting and the third announcement that they made Yay. which actually honestly to me this is the biggest announcement of all of them they are focusing 100 on round base this is absolutely massive because this confirms in my opinion that i don't think we will be seeing an open world or outbreak mode for black ops 6 zombies now i hope that what i'm saying is no yeah Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, tranquilo, papi, yo, papi, chill, papi. It's the truth, because they could 180 and then just release another open world mode, but they have said that they want to focus on more round-based content, including in-game events or different Easter eggs. Now, this I find very fascinating, because we've never really seen in-game events in Zombies. Is it going to really work like Fortnite, or how exactly is this going to work? And honestly, I think this is a great... And bro shows this as an example. <laughs> for Fortnite, this is amazing. But for Call of Duty, we need events like COD. Like, uh, for, yeah, like, why don't we get more events in Warzone, bro? Uh, I, I know people, some people complain about Godzilla and Kong event. And some people complained genuinely because there were, I believe, bl bugs, glitches. My memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, but I remember when that happened. But we need we need more events though. It's like nothing's going on in Warzone. I guess the only events that are going on in Call of Duty Warzone is people getting caught cheating. <laughs> Right? That's how it feels like, man. That's how it Great feels like. Great idea, because zombies, when you actually think about it, it's kind of similar to a battle royale map where you can literally just keep adding different changes and different Easter eggs, and people are going to eat it up. And that's exactly really what Fortnite has been doing for so many years, adding in all these different events and all these different... People are just going to eat it up. You know, way he ain't lying, people always eat it up bosses and all these different islands and all this different stuff and that would be amazing in a zombies map where once you play it it actually is a constantly progressively changing map and so this to oh, me damn. is nothing but a hold, w hold. i am genuinely incredibly happy that treyarch decided to do this because again they did not have strong independent queen right there have to do this they could have just went radio silent to launch and the fact that they're actually coming out yeah. and saying something when we are only a now now listen man i don't want this to sound like forced positivity because that's that may be true i know some of you guys would be like nah bro like they always lie they cap listen man yes uh, so what we're not under bobby codic's regime we're so still talking Activision. I know some of you guys would say that, and some of you say maybe uh, toxicity, toxic gamers, uh, or some of you are gonna say toxic positivity. A and listen, man, I want, I just want the game being good, bro. Like, I just want the game being fun. You know, next year I also want a good Call of Duty, but after that we can have, we can start to get bad Call of Duty games, guys. Like, y you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but this year and next year, I want a good Call of Duty, man. I want a good Call of Duty game. It's been a long time. I want zombies being good, man. And two years from now, next Infinity Tard game, bro, surely we can get a bad game then, okay? Even then, I don't want a bad game. But but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, sometimes I want to see the homie blame truth. Bro, the homie blame truth dipped. He dipped, bro. That sucker just peaced out. Nobody knows where he's at, though. Like, damn. 
You know, it, it's crazy, brothers. It's crazy. I just want the game being good, man. But are they coming out and talking about it now? Because people are canceling pre-orders. Are the sales not that good? Is this why they're trying to butter up gamers and Call of Duty players? Because we heard that the numbers are down this time. Kind of makes sense because of Game Pass, right? Game Pass, because of Game Pass, people are not necessarily gonna buy they're just gonna get it through game pass because if you already got game pass on pc and xbox why buy exactly the point right yeah absolutely I, and i understand that but what we're hearing is that even on playstation the numbers are down and the hype levels are actually kind of down maybe not for you watching but i'm talking like generally speaking right usually there's a lot of hype around this time but this time there isn't that much right i would say like for the past few years there hasn't been the hype has always been declining so are they saying this because they're seeing low numbers and they're just trying to do the best they can or are, do they genuinely mean that that they're gonna improve on it i hope they genuinely mean that but under Let's three see. weeks away is definitely a great, great call. And this restores a lot of my faith with Black Ops 6 Zombies. I really hope to see an amazing finished version of Liberty Falls. And I hope Treyarch takes this really as a lesson to Thanks. not try and yeah. show unfinished footage of zombie maps. Because, I mm. mean, we didn't even know at the time. I don't know if they ever... They can show us unfinished stuff, but, like, people just don't want to see zombies feeling like multiplayer. Or they could have said that, uh, yeah, guys, uh, we, we got multiplayer assets on it because it's unfinished but rest assured the final product would feel like zombies they could have said that and that would have been much better of course even then people would have credit people would have criticized it and criticism is actually good it's a good thing right like people have the choice customer has a choice to buy a product or not buy a product for whatever reason they have whether it's a silly reason or whether it's a good reason or a bad reason it doesn't matter you have the right to well, buy it or not buy it, okay? It's your money at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? Sickers are crazy, man. Like, yeah, you have the absolute God-given right to buy or not buy. But I feel like that if they did something like that, where they said that, yeah, the, the assets were using multiple assets because uh, we're still uh, finishing the map up, we're testing it and all that, would have been better, for sure ever made it clear at the COD Next event that the footage was unfinished, but it makes a lot of zombie players very upset because of the fact that they've waited four years for such an amazing round-based experience to return, and then when you're showing a lot of multiplayer type of footage, exactly. it definitely rubs exactly. fans in the wrong way. And so that Exactly, because like call of duty gameplay has always been good right so i, I don't doubt the gameplay I, gameplay has, has been always smooth for call of duty i don't doubt the gameplay zombies is zombies for sure but damn man we want we want the setting the map feeling like zombies and i feel like that they should get away with like daytime maps uh, uh you guys agree like the video if you agree i mean we can have one daytime map once in a blue moon that's fine but not all the time i feel like that nine zombies map was the best in black ops 4 and that happened to be a daytime map yeah right like we can have it once in a while but like you know i, I feel like that not, uh, daytime maps are uh, overrated right now that is why I'm extremely excited just to see what Treyarch is going to be able to cook up with. And it's interesting because they also didn't announce any gameplay changes for Black mm. Ops 6 Zombies either. And that I find Yay. very interesting because they are waiting for players to actually play Black Ops 6 Zombies oh, at wow. launch. The only thing they've really announced is that they are aesthetically changing the mode back to what it originally once was. Which is very, very exciting. Honestly, when you look back at a lot of the greatest Zombies maps with some of the greatest ambience yeah. and i've said this before they were all made in under 12 months and that type Crazy. of ambience that they're able to just black ops 2 the entire game was made in less than two years oh, shit. Oh. a year and a half bro let that sink in and now their technology is better they got better hardware they got better software they've got the power of the ai they got billions of billions of dollars they got more men more women working there 3,000 people, 3,000 devs working, plus, of course, now Phil Spencer has fired a, a lot of them, but, yeah, right, prior to him firing, fire, prior to Phil Spencer, the homie Phil, acquiring Activision, 3,000 plus devs, right, like, damn, they got all, four years, bro, like, come on, man, like, miss me with that, bro, get mama with that, bro. 
touch we need up we need and better. change, uh, we it makes better. the whole world of difference. It's literally just the tiny little details. Like, even when you think of a map like Transit, what would Transit be without the fog or the lava or the denizens, denizens. or the Avogadro? Every yep. single one of these aspects is what creates plus minimal HUD and zombies feeling like zombies. It's its identity. And so this Jeez. is a very, very big thing. And I want to give a lot of feedback as well towards their new changes because it's feedback like this that makes the products great. In my opinion, the harshest criticism can come from the most diehard of fans. And in, in my opinion, if you take a look at something like the Sonic movie, for example, if the fans weren't so harsh initially about the original design of Sonic, then we wouldn't have had any of the amount of movies that we've recently have especially with the hype that's building i i remember i remember the homie young yeah was making videos after videos on this situation yeah people were mad and, and you, you see what happened people gave criticism and they changed and, and also shout out to the team for listening because it goes both ways shout out to the fans for criticizing as always fans always criticize it and fans always uh, give good takes generally not all the time but generally right not talking twitter i'm talking like generally like you guys right fans always give good feedback but it's also the job of the the team the the one that is producing the movie or making the movie or making the game to listen and do a uh, do uh, li listen to it and cater to it and implement it uh, it's their job as well the fact that they did listen uh, salute to them and shout out to them as well for sure for the new sonic sure. 3 movie and so this is just the exact same thing that we're seeing with treyarch here and this genuinely gets me excited i really hope that they try and put a massive focus on in-game playable events a lot yeah. of free yeah, yeah, content yeah. and just making sure that zombie players are actually enjoying the game this mm. definitely has restored a lot of my hype and definitely uh for me a little bit uh, remains to be seen like uh, i want to like see when the map comes out of course uh once it comes out we'll we'll stream it's gonna be coming out a day early so we're gonna live stream and uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stream on the channel so hit the subscribe bell check out don't watch this video i should say massive cheater was caught cheating recently guys do not watch this video man check out the video on the left and i'll see you right there we got crazy footage in the video on the left as well guys check out both of these